Hey everyone, I'm going to show you an example of a basic paragraph. You can find paragraph structure development outlining in another video, but here I'm focusing specifically on an example of a real paragraph and I'm going to go over topic sentence body conclusion and transition words in this example. Okay, here we go. So this paragraph is written in MLA format. So that means it has 12 point font size all around. Everything's double space, one inch margins. Um, it, it's written in Times New Roman. That is something that is important for academic writing, most English classes in the United States. So it's called, the title is Something in Common with a Stranger. After, re, after having read a few chapters of The Distance Between Us, I have found that I connect with Reina Grande because of the experiences we have both had with immigration. First of all, I know what it feels like to miss my parents because my parents left me and my siblings alone in Cuba for one year before we met them in the United States. For example, we used to put X marks on the calendar every night before going to bed just waiting for the day we could see them again. Another reason why I can relate to Reina is because I also had to live with my grandparents during the time that my parents were preparing a home for us in the United States. But unlike Reina's grandparents, mine were very loving and helpful. For instance, my grandparents comforted me when I would miss my parents and cook me my favorite meals each week because they knew that it would make me happy. The most important way in which I can connect with Reina Grande is because I also have siblings that I became very close to during the time that our parents were away from us, and that experience has made us very connected. To be specific, we call each other every week and even have a siblings group chat on WhatsApp where we can share pictures and jokes. We probably wouldn't talk as often as we do if we had not gone through something hard together when we were younger. To conclude, reading this story has made me realize that even though I am very different from Reina Grande, we still have something in common. All right, now I'm going to go through this paragraph and look at each part. There's three parts to a paragraph. We need to have those three parts, which is topic, sentence, body, and conclusion. Inside the body, there should be some supporting points. I like to tell my students, use three. It's a nice magical number. It will help the paragraph be developed. First sentence is the topic sentence. After having read a few chapters of The Distance Between Us, I have found that I connect with Reina Grande because of the experiences we have had with immigration. This is the topic sentence. It answers the question in the prompt, which is, how do you relate with this story? How do you relate with this author, this writer? So this writer is saying that he connects because he has had similar experiences uh, with immigration or around immigration. Now the reader is wondering, how? How is that true? How, how do you connect with this story? Prove that to me. Explain it. So the writer in the body of the paragraph is going to have three or fewer or more points, okay? First of all, I know what it feels like to miss my parents because my parents left me and my siblings alone in Cuba for one year before we met them in the United States. That's how, right? So this is how. That first supporting point is how this writer is proving his topic sentence, which is that he relates to this story. He relates to the story the first way is by saying, I also had my parents go to the United States and I had to wait for them. That's the first supporting point. There should be two or three or four, right? I like to tell my students three. That's the first one. But each supporting point needs to have some details to support it as well, to give it more specificity. So facts, reasons, examples, details. This student wrote, for example, we used to put X marks on the calendar every night before going to bed, just waiting for the day we would see them again. This example is very specific. You can see him putting the X marks on the calendar every night before going to bed. It's dark outside. This example shows how much this writer missed his parents, okay? Remember that first point that he wrote was that he also missed his parents, just like the, the writer of the book, just like Reina Grande. And he gives a specific example of how he missed them. Okay, going along. Another reason why I can relate to Reina is because I also had to live with my grandparents during the time that my parents were preparing a home for us in the United States. But unlike Reina's grandparents, 
Mine were very loving and helpful. This is the second supporting point or second reason for why this writer's topic sentence is true. Remember, the writer is trying to prove to the reader that he can connect with Reina Grande, the author of this book, The Distance Between Us. And his first reason is, I also connect with that writer because I lived with my pa my parents were gone. I missed them for a year. And then the second reason is this one. I had to live with my grandparents too, just like her. But now what do you need? We need to see a specific fact, reason, example, detail to make it specific. And that's what he does. He says, for instance, for instance, my grandparents comforted me when I would miss my parents and cook me my favorite meals each week because they knew that it would make me happy. So I'm going to make that blue. That's the detail. The most important way in which I can connect with Reina Grande is because I also have siblings that I became very close to during the time that our parents were away from us and that experience has made us very connected. Third supporting point. That is the third way in which this writer has proven that his topic sentence is true. Remember, his topic sentence is that he knows what it feels like. He can connect with the writer, Reina Grande. And this is his third way. And then he's specific with detail. And he says, to be specific, we call each other every week and even have sibling group chat on WhatsApp where we can share pictures and jokes. We probably wouldn't talk as often as we do if we had not gone through something hard together. So that's his detail for that third point. Okay, so I'm going to make that blue. And then finally, we have the conclusion. To conclude, reading this story has made me realize that even though I am very different from Reina Grande, we still have something in common. This, I'm going to make yellow because it's a restatement of the topic sentence. So the topic sentence is yellow and the conclusion is yellow because they're basically the same thing. They're the same idea, just different words. And now you can see this whole paragraph zoomed out in colors. Your paragraphs should look like this. It looks like a nice, delicious hamburger, right? So we have the bread on the top and the bottom that are the same, okay? And in the middle, you have the delicious stuff. But specifically in the middle, you have three supporting points and each point has some detail under it. First supporting point, detail. Second supporting point, detail. Third supporting point, detail. And don't forget, each of those three supporting points are supporting the topic sentence and explaining why that topic sentence is true. Your job as a writer is to prove that your topic sentence in a paragraph is true and make the reader understand and make the reader believe you. Let's also focus on the transition words that the writer is using in this paragraph. The transition words are like the glue that stick the ideas together and help everything connect nicely and smoothly. Now this writer uses a lot of transition words and as you become a stronger, more confident writer, you don't need to use as many, but I think if you're just beginning, it really helps to know when to put in those transition words because otherwise your ideas might not flow together very well. So in this, pa in this paper, in addition to highlighting all those colors that I just pointed out, I also highlighted the transition words that are like glue and help put the ideas together. Use those as well as a guide for when you're writing. And I like to tell my students this is like that special sauce, this ketchup or the mustard or mayonnaise that you add or the secret sauce, if you know what I mean, like in and out if you're in California, the secret sauce, the sauce that mixes the flavors and makes it all perfect, right? Your hamburger, it's there, it's delicious, but now you gotta throw in the sauce, okay, to make sure those ideas and those flavors all connect. So here you can see um, all of those transition words and connectors, and, and they're highlighted in red to make it hopefully more obvious, okay? And that is that. Now down here I've made an outline with templates that can help a writer um, using what I have here. So uh, the first part of a, of, a, of a paragraph, you want to have the topic sentence. Okay, so I'm going to make that yellow, right? And remember, a topic sentence is, a ten is just one sentence that answers the question in the prompt in one sentence, okay? And it, you know, it focuses on the topic and it gives the writer's opinion, but Basically, it's an answer to the question in the prompt, and I've given this template that my students can use 
um, as in their papers to get them started. Then we have the body of the paragraph, which I'm going to make. Um, all right, I'm going to make it blue. And as you know, there's three supporting points of the body. So I'm going to make these each green because each of those supporting points are in the paper and they are green in the paper. Each supporting point should support that yellow topic sentence, okay? And then for each supporting point, we need to have some detail, some fact, reason, example, or something like that. And those I'm gonna make blue because in the actual paper, they are blue, as you can see. This is just an outline. This can help you get ideas and organize them, okay? And I give templates, like the ones I used in the paper. First of all, your template for your first detail, you can say, for example, and then the second point, I say, another reason for why is da, 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 da. And then your support with detail can say, for instance. And then the next point, your third point, the most important reason why, in which I, da, 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 da. And then your detail transition to be specific. And then we have the conclusion, which again, I'm gonna make yellow because it's supposed to match the topic sentence. And we have a, a template there that we can say, to conclude, reading this story has made me realize whatever it is that you said in the topic sentence, just using different words, okay? So that is the outline that I'm, I, I think could help with writing a paragraph on this topic or any topic. You just fill it in with what you need, okay? So I hope that that was helpful and that you're ready to write your paragraph.